Hello everybody, God bless you and we want to thank God for today. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Um, I want to share something with you today. Um, during the, uh, we had a great service today, um, but during the service, as I was leading prayer, the Lord laid something upon my heart and I will begin to pray over it. And I just want to share it. I believe it's a prophetic word. You see, um, we are all aware of the the epidemic, the coronavirus epidemic um, that has shut down cities and nations and, um, and even most churches. And we are all dealing with it. But you see, for some people, it seems like the end, um, the end of the world or the end of, um, you know, all things. But um, God shared, gave me a prophetic word. And my spiritual father will normally, um, Dr. Maurice Serrillo, will normally say, all truth is parallel. Whatever you see happen in the spirit realm, in the physical, eventually it's going to happen in the spirit realm. So, as um, we look at this situation, and the Lord began to minister to me this morning um, during our prayer session, that as the, as the coronavirus season ends, or epidemic ends, there's going to be another outbreak. But it's not going to be coronavirus anymore is going to be an outbreak of the move of God. There's going to be an outbreak of the Spirit of God. That God is going to break, the Spirit of God is going to break out in such a way. There's going to be an outbreak of revival, an outbreak of, of healing, of salvation, an outbreak of conviction that is going to hit cities, hit nations. And many of our churches are going to be hit with the move of God in such a way that people are going to run, the world is going to run to us and crying out to God that people are going to see their, their, their emptiness and the hunger for God is going to hit cities and nations and our churches. I want you to begin to pray about this, and we spend time to pray um, for this move of God this morning and for this outbreak of a move of God. So I want you to begin to pray about this, and I want you to ask God to use you as an instrument. And uh, if you're a minister of God, um, open up your church, let your church become one of the one of the places that the world can come to to find God. And we are, will see the fire of God born in our churches. We will see the move of God, um, an outbreak of the move of God that will become highly contagious. Just like coronavirus is highly contagious, this move of God is going to be highly contagious. And I believe deep in my spirit that God is up to something. So I'm going to be spending some time to pray um, right now. And I want you to join me to pray. And I want you to make this um, a regular prayer. Take time to seriously pray in your church, in your personal time. And believe God for this next move of God and that you will be a part of it. Um, if you believe in this prophetic word, I just want you to pray with me now. Father, we want to thank you because your word is true. Lord, we know that this is not the end. Even the coronavirus that is ravaging the nations of the world, we know that after this is passed, and you are going to see us through. But after this is passed, we know that something greater is coming. Therefore, Lord, I pray for this next move of your spirit. Lord, we pray for an outbreak of your spirit. Let there be an outbreak of the spirit of, uh, spirit of conviction, the spirit of salvation, the spirit of healing. Let there be an outbreak of revival in our cities, in our nations, in our churches. Father, we pray for a mighty move of your spirit, for an outbreak of of revival, an outbreak of healing, an outbreak of conviction that you will begin to bring people into the kingdom by the power of your spirit. We are people who become hungry for you. Father, I pray for a hunger for your spirit, a hunger for you to break out into the cities across the nations, that there will be a hunger and a thirst for you, that people will want to see you, want to know you, and they will run to us, the church, and that we might be available. Help us, Lord, make us, help us as we make ourselves available. Use us as your church to bring more souls and to, to, to be the very that will bring the, the outbreak of the spirit that you are planning to unleash upon the earth. Father, we pray that we may be part of it, O oh God. I ask, Holy Spirit of God, fill us afresh. Use us as instrument. Do what only you can do by the power of your spirit across the cities, across the nations of the world.
world. That as, as we talk about coronavirus today, Lord, in a very short time from now, we are going to be talking, even the media, the world, the nations of the world will begin to talk about and witness the greatest move of your spirit because it's going to be an outbreak of your spirit that is going to be highly contagious. That revival will break out in cities, in nations, in our churches. That healings will break out. That conviction will hit cities and nations. Salvation will hit cities and nations. That we are going to see the move of God. That people will know that surely this is nothing but the hand of God, the move of God. We thank you, Father, for it. We thank you by faith because it's going to happen. We key into it. We make ourselves available, oh God. Use us for your glory. And we thank you because it will happen by your spirit. We thank you because we are going to be vessels, instruments in your hand for it. Bring it to pass, oh God, by your power and by your hand. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friend, I just want to encourage you. Um, keep praying about this. I believe that God is going to do something great. Um, you are going to be a part of it. Pray and make yourself available to become a part of this. And we are looking forward to um, surviving this coronavirus and things are going to get back. But it's not going to be business as usual after this. It's going to be business unusual. So in your church, if you're a minister of God, I want you to make yourself available. Let God use you. Use your church. Let God be, use that you will become one of the vehicles that God will use to unleash this outbreak of his spirit. And we're going to see you on the other side. Um, after this whole thing goes over, um, expires, and by the time we resume, we enter this new season of the move of God. So until then, remain blessed and have a coronavirus-free week this week. God bless you. And once again, this is your host, um, Bishop Major Paul Vincent, wishing you a blessed week. God bless you.